In Autodesk Composite, choose File New to create a new composition. Name it Greek Chess and choose a target folder. By default, this would be the Toxic folder in your Documents section. At this time, only an Output node is displayed. With the Output node selected, Change the image format to NTSC to match the rendered output from 3ds Max. In the Layout Presets in the bottom left corner, choose the second preset from the bottom. Right-click in the Player window and under Display, make sure you are set in Tool Output. Choose File Import, navigate to where you saved your OpenEXR file and select it. If you render the sequence of files, they may be collapsed to a single entry. You can view the individual files by turning the Collapse Sequence option off. Once you have imported the file, you can dismiss the Import dialog. The chess scene shows up, minus the background. This is because the image is treated in RGBA mode. If you change the output to RGB, you can see the background in the picture. For now, leave the format in RGBA mode. This node will be the master. Make a copy of it using Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Select the copy and go to the Options tab. Notice the channels available to you. These are the channels defined as render elements and later as channels embedded in the OpenEXR file. Browse through them to see the display. Make another copy of the node, have one copy display the lighting and another display the diffuse channel. To composite these two nodes together, press the tilde key to display the gate UI and swipe to the right. In the composition category, drag a blend and comp node to the schematic view. Wire the lighting pass as front and the diffuse pass as back. Select the Blend and Comp node and set its blending mode to Overlay. Alternate clicking between the Diffuse node and the Blend and Comp node to see the mix effect. You can add reflection using a similar technique by copying the original node and setting the channel to Reflection. This time, though, set the blending mode to Screen. If you need to pan the schematic view, press Shift and then click and drag. Use the same technique to add the ambient occlusion pass. Set the blending mode to Multiply. The effect is subtle, but definitely visible. The beauty of post work is that you can make quick edits without having to re-render the scene. In this case, you can emphasize the ambient occlusion pass by adding a color corrector histogram to the tree. Adjust the histogram to add contrast to the ambient occlusion pass. The effect now is much stronger. This technique can sometimes produce an undesired border around objects. You can fix it by introducing a formatting tool called Unpremultiply to the Ambient Occlusion node. 